What's going on guys, my name is Alden Hero and welcome to episode 2 of my Leicester City career mode on FIFA 15. I want to say thank you very much for all of the support on episode 1. It's currently sitting on over a thousand likes which is absolutely insane in just one day so thank you very much. If this episode gets anything near that I will be very very happy but uh, we're starting this episode off with a game against Everton as you can see and we're playing at the King Power Stadium. This is how our team lineup looks like. I was toying with the idea of going with a 4-4-2 and even a 4-3-3 at times. But I thought the 4-5-1 would be safer with Mackay Steven being utilised a little bit more in that central attacking midfield position. And Everton have their own central attacking Scottish midfielder in Steven Naismith up front. Although I do believe that he's playing as a striker in this game. And their team was a pretty decent one and they started off well in the 20th minute with Kevin Morales playing this ball into an unmarked Gareth Barry. Who had such a great season last year and he starts this one off on the right foot as he finishes with his right foot. Uh, with the ball on the move into the back of the net. Nobody picking him up in the box and the English midfielder makes it 1-0 to the visitors earlier on which uh, I don't know it, it sort of created a, a huge challenge for us because I'm playing on world class I didn't know if I would be able for legendary I thought world class would be safer just because of the fact that it is a new game uh, and the demo isn't going to be the same as this so um, I don't know I, I thought like this would be enough but it was very very difficult to try and break Everton down especially playing in the rain and Mackay Steven had a chance in the 28th minute as he evades the tackle of two Everton players before blasting the ball over the bar and then he would get a better chance in the 52nd minute as uh, the lats header finds Mackay Steven he runs into the box and he finishes with ease into the the top corner the goalkeeper doesn't even bother moving and the debutant runs jumps over the corner flag and celebrates with the home fans uh, he really just capitalized on a horrific defensive mishap there as the ball was headed back but I'm a little bit alarmed at the fact that the goalkeeper didn't move at all and I don't really know how I feel about that. Now, this is only the third game, or the second game, in fact, that I've played in FIFA 15. As you see, Casper Schmeichel making a fairly decent save against the challenge for or the shot from Ross Barkley. Um, one question I did actually want to ask you guys uh, just before this game gets any more uh, tense is, what team are you going to manage in your career mode this year on FIFA 15? If you don't have the game yet, what team are you going to pick? And if you have the game yet, what team have you picked? I'd be very interested to see because, um, I don't know, there might be some very uh, like entertaining ideas in there. But in the 80th minute, the ball comes to Mackay Steven as he takes on Gibson at the far post. His cross goes over everybody and comes out to Drinkwater, who plays the ball to Esteban Cambiasso, who's shot went just wide and that was a golden opportunity to take the lead in the game but in the 85th minute we continued pressing Everton and as you can see they're passing the ball around their defence here and uh, it's Gibson on the ball and he just loses it to Mackay Steven who looks up and places it in the same place with the same power and the same result as his goal earlier on in the game as he gives us the lead with just under four minutes to go or just over four minutes to go uh, and just an insane turn of events in this game as the entire team runs up to the top of the King Power Stadium to celebrate with the debutante player who gets his second of the game, capitalising on yet another defensive mishap from Everton, and we exit the uh, the first day of Premier League fixtures with a 2-1 victory over a team who were challenging for fourth last season, which is absolutely unbelievable, and we come out to find out that Luca Ante uh, doesn't actually want to sign a contract for us because of the squad role that we offered him, so I had to offer him an important first team player squad role even though he's not necessarily going to be one but we find out that we have to make another offer for Cardiff City's Ben Turner because every other team also wants to sign him and this is something that's being a little bit bothersome uh, in FIFA 15 trying to sign any player and finding out that like every other team in the world is bidding for them I'm not really sure how I feel about that to be honest but um, Palace wouldn't accept their bid for Scott Dan uh, they I guess they couldn't go as low as we went so I offered two and a half million uh, in the next bid just trying to get in some kind of solid centre back even though I would take Luke Ante just because I believe he does have fairly decent potential and his overall defensive stats as they are despite being a 69 rated player uh, are actually very good so um, we put in another offer for Ben Turner to try and get him in and then I had to look at some players to scout um, I properly scouted Derek Boyata and Goldburn from Wolves and I made an offer for Boyata because I thought he looked decent and I also made an offer for Scott Goldburn who even though he's rated 67 he looks like a very capable left back and the only other left back that we have in the team is very fast but that's about all he has going for him and we find out that Ben Turner has gone to West Ham which is quite annoying and we do get our bid for Scott Dan accepted 
but his wage demands are ridiculous and we can't afford to pay them so I offered him a contract without really expecting him to sign it I just did it just to do it but our next game is away from home at Stamford Bridge of all places as we come up against the mighty Chelsea who could have been champions last season uh, weirdly enough they're starting with Courtois on the bench and Schwarzer in goal so I have no idea why that is uh, maybe they just feel like he deserves a run out against the minnows like us who they're definitely going to beat but we went with Mackay Steven all Brighton makes his debut in the team knockout starts on the right hand side and Drinkwater and Cambiasso retain their positions in the central defensive midfield positions but I want you guys to look at that chance on the screen when Yuloa got on the ball and fell over as Danny Drinkwater volleys it from distance and it goes horribly wide but I think on FIFA 50 or sorry on FIFA 14 that would have been a penalty as Yuloa gets taken down by the Chelsea defender and I was really aggrieved after that I thought we deserved the penalty but in the 29th minute some amazing interplay between Cambiasso who plays a 1-2 with Yuloa and gets into a position to score and just before the half hour mark in the game Leicester ban Cambiasso gives us the lead with his first goal in a Leicester jersey an unbelievable turn of events too because of the fact that we're playing against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge who like have only ever been beaten once at Stamford Bridge uh, under Jose Mourinho's tenure and that was against Sunderland last season so the idea of someone doing it again seemed a little bit insane but just before half time we'd have another chance with Mackay Stevens seeing his shot saved uh, by Mark Schwarzer down towards the far post and I think he probably could have caught that but then we got a disastrous moment in the 53rd minute as Mackay Stephen got injured as a result of a John Obi Mikel tackle and he had to come off the pitch which meant that Nick Powell came on on his debut I didn't even know that Nick Powell went to Leicester I, he must have went on deadline day in a loan deal or something like that because I didn't actually hear about that and I've seen every single Leicester game this season and I haven't seen him playing yet so um, yeah he gets taken down horribly there by Mikel and it looked like he actually broke his neck and died but uh, thankfully that's not what happened and in the 68th minute we would get another chance as uh, some nice interplay between Albrighton and Drinkwater there on that side the ball comes to Jeffrey Schlup who I put on and played up front with Nick Powell just behind him and Schlupp takes on Cahill with his pace gets into a brilliant goal scoring position but amazingly could not finish from such an easy position as Schwarzer gets the save and then Chelsea came forward in the 87th minute and it was about time they did because uh, they didn't really do anything in this game at all they were a little bit of a walkover and it was very bizarre as Ramirez plays the ball into Willy and he has a look up and plays it into Costa who was in a goal scoring position Kasper Schmeichel made a great save as he wasn't to know it was offside anyway and in the 95th minute or so as we're in stoppage time the ball comes to Nick Powell again Schlupp makes a run and this time he's completely gonna burn Terry for pace there is no way that Schlupp isn't getting into a goal scoring position here but again the big man just manages to not score so I think maybe playing him as a striker for that counter-attacking idea isn't gonna work because he's not a very good finisher and we end our game at Stamford Bridge with an unbelievable 1-0 victory over Chelsea as we become only the second team Team to ever beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge under Jose Mourinho which is ridiculous they didn't even turn up for the game it was unbelievable um I don't know like I assume that all of you guys will want me to go to legendary now but I feel like I sh I don't even know I feel like the last two results were very very lucky um, we got lucky that Chelsea didn't bother turning up and when they did they weren't clinical uh, and we got lucky against Everton with two defensive mishaps but I just don't know what's going on like I, I don't know if legendary is going to be too difficult or what and our next game is against Arsenal as well and they're not really going to be the blueprint for legendary gameplay when they absolutely obliterate me so I don't know what to do um, I haven't decided myself yet but uh, Luca Ante does agree our contract offer we had to offer him 10 grand a week and an important first team player slot which I'm not really keen on but uh, we had to do it anyways and we find out that Gary Mackay Steven is going to be out for four weeks which is really really bad news because uh, he's obviously proven himself to be a very important player so far in our bid to avoid relegation um, but I think we can get by without him I think we can do all right the transfer deadline will uh, will end in the la in the next episode so hopefully I can get one or two more players in maybe a lone player or something like that something exciting anyways but uh, that's the end of this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please do leave a like that would be awesome to keep the momentum going from yesterday's episode I've been Eldon Hero thanks for watching